But look, listen. What about uh-huh. that question, though? Right? Well, As like, you get like older you said, in your career, like you, you get longer, and you've accomplished, and you've accomplished the things you've accomplished, Rockhold. People start to yeah. question whether or not you still have it. And if you can't get past a Sean Strickland, does this point to the end of your career? DC, you know as well as me, like you said, you read off the accomplishments. I've I've done it. I've done Strike Force World Championships. I've done UFC World Championships. And the mindset is never, you never let losing any of your brain. And so, you know, that's not a thought process. So I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about whooping this kid's ass. I'm thinking about putting myself back where, where, where I belong, where I know I can be. When you look at Sean Strickland, right, there seems to be some tension between you two. And I don't know if it's a, a personality clash. I don't know if it's because it doesn't really excite you. Because it's a fight that you were offered before that you kind of said, this doesn't really get the juices flowing. Was that fight that he won enough to change that completely? And now you view him as a legitimate threat and a guy that can really propel you right back into where you want to be in the middleweight division? Uh, I mean, I, I knew he was tough. I seen him in the gym, and I knew he was tough. Um, it wasn't a name at all. No one really knew of him, and it didn't ex- didn't excite me. You know, now he's got a he's got a he's got a good ranking, and it's Madison Square Garden too. So I mean, between the two, the card, the stage, you know, and 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 obviously taking taking a ranking, getting somewhat of a name. They pushed him pretty hard last time, so it you know it gets me up. And and this kid just, <clears throat> I really don't like him. I don't like him. I don't like the way he treats people in the gym, and and uh, he's he's just a, you know, a guy that goes out there and says he wants to kill somebody in the ring. It would be he'd be happy if he killed somebody. We're all professionals here, and, and that, to have that to have that thought process is is just the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And I just don't like like I said, I've seen him in the gym. I've seen how he treats people, and he's just he's not someone to you know I want to see representing the sport. You know, when you talk about seeing him in the gym, Rock. There's a, a a thing about what happens in the gym stays in the gym, right? We don't carry that into our competitions. First, did you and Sean get to train together, right? Did y'all get to train together? If so, yep. was that anything you could use in the fight? And what gym? What gym are you talking about? Where you saw Sean Strickland? Because I'm confused. Uh, Sean, Sean, like the kid jumps around. He like goes from gym to gym, and uh, and he has that. He must. Must build that lifestyle. It must build that because, like, because he doesn't have no no true team. So he's constantly putting himself into every other team and and just doing battle and trying to hurt people because, rather than working with teammates and trying to do his thing. So uh, he came down to Ruka. I trained with him once. Um, you know, it's it's something something to gain. Yeah, he's he's a tough kid, <laughs> but he hasn't. He hasn't let that. it go, you know Rockle, me, Rockle. Hey, DC. Rock cool. DC, you Let know me go, when Rock I'm outside cool. of camp. Go. When I'm out of camp, DC, you know I'm a different person. Yeah. So yep. you know it was. So you you're know he's got. You- I've got. I've got an understanding of who he is. I don't think he has a true understanding of who I am. Who I am.